inspired me what did for us to come together and get back to communicating with each other, uh, hanging out with each other, and bringing back the positive vibes. I see the signs. I'm pulling for you. Can't wait to watch the rest of the year how it plays out. I mean, because this was the non-traditional summer of all summers here. City of Champs. I was pleased uh, with our work so far uh, during this open week. There is a standard uh, that we have to work to, to live by every day and part of year one is really establishing that standard and I think it's a new way of, of doing things uh, within our program under our new leadership. These are part of the stages that you have to go through. This is a brotherhood and if we stand strong together we can't be denied. This was big for us to come together and get back to communicating with each other and uh, hanging out with each other and bringing back them good positive vibes. I feel like with the, with the bye week, we're going to build on more stuff, and I feel like we grew as a team on, the, on and off the field. I think that standard knows no uh, room on the depth chart. It doesn't matter if you're the starter or, you know, uh, the fifth string. It has allowed us to kind of get to the very bottom uh, of the adversity and kind of find out uh, how our guys are going to respond. Uh, I live about two miles from here. You guys are my hometown team. What you're going through right now, reminds me so much of my first year with the Bucks. It started when we were one and eight, nobody believed in us. And those guys saying to themselves, you know what? We believe and we're, we're not going to give up. You're the foundation. What is USF football going to look like these last four games? What is it going to look like next year? What is it going to look like two years from now? You'll determine that. Uh, it was amazing. You know, he's a, a legendary coach. He's a Hall of Fame NFL coach, and he gave us a lot of knowledge about the game and a lot of knowledge even after football and knowledge to help us grow as a team and come together as a team. I think for in-season prep game to game, the biggest thing we try to get across to our guys is to treat their body like high-performing vehicles. True, he been a bit part of us recovering well. Before practice, he have us doing extra stretches. Before we went out on the field, he roll us up for stretch. We spend like 20, 30 minutes on stretch. It really gets us going. And, uh, prevents us from getting any more injuries. The past couple of years, we we didn't have that, and we've seen players die down in practice. But when Coach True came along, it been more durable. Stretching is, is a key thing for us because Coach True he makes sure we our body feels good on game day. He makes sure everybody's stretched out. The lifts that we do, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna make sure you, after you lift, you get a good stretch, so you be good for the rest of the day. You're proud of the iron team. So remember, up, out, down is one, up, in, down is two. You got three sets there. So let's get a break. Let's go to work, guys. This was the non-traditional summer of all summers here, just because we would show up at you know five o'clock in the morning and meet as a staff and get with the athletic trainers and the equipment staff, and we would set up. Everything was done outside. It wasn't do a part of your conditioning session outside and come inside for weights. So our guys were exposed to the heat for the entirety of that, you know, hour and 40 minute window. And it brought the best out in us this summer, you know, just because we had to face adversity early. You gotta cut loose, guys. Let's go. Get all you got. The biggest thing that we want to accomplish with the cold tubs is number one is stopping the, the loss of fluids. The hydration process begins when you stop sweating. So we want to get our, our guys' core temperatures cooled down to where they can start getting the fluids back in them. And number two, it decreases swelling. Anytime you have an injury or anything like that, the first thing a doctor or someone will tell you is put ice on it. Little tools that you know we've kind of you know gathered along the way that helps you know the, the long wear and tear of the season grind and help keep guys as fresh as possible come game day, which is our ultimate goal. Hey Bulls fans, Coach Scott here. Kick off football game days with breakfast at Wendy's. You can score a free honey butter chicken biscuit on game day mornings with any other breakfast purchase. Go Bulls! Uh, they brought the Stanley Cup up there, so it's sitting up there. It's one of the uh, most prestigious trophies in all of sports. Put a fresh band on the bottom, so basically this becomes number one. They just sort of move up. What's up, so USF family? Uh, thanks here with the Stanley Cup. Everybody right here. Thanks for here.